starting in a while. Uh, we do have 30 participants now. It's good to see you so early now. I'm glad. Those who are coming, uh, just mark your presence. Write down presence in the chat box. Let's find it's great and 33 participants. Okay, let me start. Let me ask you the doubts. Uh, uh, I, I hope that you have gone through the entire uh, videos. So far, we have completed our four sessions of the videos. Now, I want you to ask the doubts first. Otherwise, shall I ask the questions right now? Yes, if you have a doubts, you can raise a hand now. Yes. Anyone? Fine. So let me ask you, okay, Mir has a doubt. Okay, Mir, unmute. Yes, sir. So yesterday you uh, uh, asked to write one point, fishing vessels, oil and natural gas rigs, etc. operated by residents in international waters. Right. Other, this point I didn't understand. See, I told you that uh, the territory, the territory waters, what we talked about, uh, that was inside the uh, economic territory itself, what we consider as a economic territory itself. So definitely, if any fishing vessels are operating in those territory waters or any oil and natural gas rigs, that means they're pulling out the oil and natural gas from the uh, surface of the ocean, then definitely these are all the part of the economic territory only. Yes, Mir. You got it yes, now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, great. Fine. Uh, now can anyone tell me today uh, what you mean by economic territory? Yes, Vaishnavi. The um, economic territory is the geographical territory uh, administered by a government in which a person's goods circulate freely. Very good. Person, goods, uh, and resources that circulate freely. Okay, fine. Uh, yes, Sohel, you want to say about uh, anything more than this? Sohel. So, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, you want to say something sir, about that? Sir, in this, um, the government which person, goods, and capital circulate hmm. freely. This okay. Is. okay, fine. Uh, okay, uh, let me, uh, today, we are, I'm not going to waste. Okay, Devanshu was asking something. Yes, Devanshu, you can ask, you can unmute your audio and ask. So in the past, India has tried nuclear bomb practice many times. So why the America was interfering? Because it was practiced in Indian geographical area. So why? Uh, this is not an economical concept. This is a political concept. <laughs> uh, you might have seen that movie called Parmanu. That is my, That might be the reason that you're asking me such question right now. Okay, uh, if I have a time at the end of the day, uh, I'll solve that problem of yours. Because we are in the economic subject now. So it's uh, not economic. Uh, topic basically uh, why they are interfering that's another reason uh, they want show fine uh, ask me some economic questions right yes now, sir. Particular question jay you have been so late the next time i'm going to lock the room jay jay and i'm not going to not allow anyone 
after this right so i'm locking the room now so no one can leave the part uh, room if you are leaving it you cannot enter again so be there right i'm locking the meeting fine uh, let me start with today's thought right okay so what's the, what is the today's quote let's understand that today's quote peace comes from within do not seek it without buddha so you might be trying to find out that शांति नहीं है लाइफ में हमको देखते हैं कि एंजॉयमेंट नहीं मिलती है शांति नहीं मिलती है एंड वी ऑलवेज ट्राई टू फाइंड इट फ्रॉम आउटसाइड वेर दिस दिस पीस इज राइट रिमेंबर इवन इन द नॉइस द पीस इज विद इन योर सेल्फ सो ये बहुत बार होता है कि मम्मी ने आपको काम दे दिया पापा ने आपको कुछ बोल दिया एंड यू से आप बेचैन हो जाते हो थिंक दैट इज नो पीस इन योर वर्ल्ड बट रिमेंबर एज अस इज द पीस ऑलवेज कम्स फ्रॉम योर माइंड it comes from within it never comes from outside so do not seek it without so it means you do not go outside to seek it it is always there with you remember that let's start with the today's topic today's topic is uh about uh understanding who are the normal resident of a country now normal resident is in itself a good concept and this concept we have to relate with the economic territory as we learned yesterday right we know that economic territory contains four main uh, parts uh, i mean it contains many other things other apart from the geographical area which are those four other things can anyone raise a hand and can answer yes which are those four things in the economic territory that we have learned apart from the geographical area under consideration yes irfan yes beta uh, embassies okay and and kya tha ships aircraft okay wait here fun wait mariam wants to answer wait yes mariam political Mar frontiers okay uh military uh, consul consulates and military consulate. bases yes consulates and military bases yes uh, uh, fishing vessels right oil okay. gas natural gas okay oil and natural gas rigs yes ha uh, that's very good. yes very good you can mute audio yes sir for anything other than that or anyone else uh, apart from this that you have remember fine uh let me go ahead then so today we are going to understand who are the normal residents of a country so what you mean by the word normal resident and who are those so let's understand this very carefully important note before starting this concept let me uh, very much caution you that citizen and resident are two different terms don't confuse them in between so when we talk about normal residents we're not talking about at all for the citizens of a country we're talking about only residents so what do you mean by citizenship and what do you mean by residentship now you will tell me sir that you are confusing us i'm not confusing because i'm making you clarify you now so let me tell you who are the citizens of a country citizens are those people uh, who get a right to live in the country or right to perform any activity in the country by birth or to fulfill some normal criteria right so let's understand uh, both the concepts very clearly and then we come to know that who are the residents basically this does not mean that citizen is not a resident and resident is not a citizen aisa matlab nahi hai ki citizen jo hota hai wo resident nahi ho sakta aur resident jo hota hai wo citizen nahi ho sakta a person can be a citizen as well as a resident but that also remember that if a citizen of a country cannot necessarily be a resident of the country right agar ek bande एक जहां का सिटीजन है वो रेसिडेंट होना जरूरी नहीं है हम बोलते हैं काफी टाइम आपने ये वर्ड सुना होगा एनआरआई नॉन रेसिडेंट इंडियन तो वो रेसिडेंट की व्याख्या में वो इंडिया का 
सिटीजन तो है पर इंडिया में रहता नहीं है रेसिडेंट यानी रहना राइट तो पीपल रिसाइड इन दैट पर्टिकुलर कंट्री एंड वेन वी टॉक अबाउट सिटीजनशिप it is about to perform the activities in that country so they are both are concepts are very much different right try to understand that so a person can be a citizen and can be a resident both or it may happen that he can be citizen of one country and resident of another country let's understand this but it is not necessary that a citizen of a country is necessarily the resident of that country ye bhi zaruri nahi hai ki citizen ek desh ka hoga to wo usi desh ka resident bhi hai jaise india ke kafi log nri ho ke videsh mein rehte hain राइट वो सिटीजन है इंडिया के बट रेसिडेंट है अमेरिका के बिकॉज वो रहते हैं अमेरिका में राइट दिस इज इम्पोर्टेंट अ पर्सन कैन बी सिटीजन ऑफ वन कंट्री एंड एट द सेम टाइम अ रेसिडेंट ऑफ अनदर कंट्री एग्जांपल वी कंसीडर एन आर आईज एंड एन आर आईज सिटीजन ऑफ इंडिया बट द रेसिडेंट ऑफ अ कंट्री इन विच ही लिव्स सो हाउ दिस डिस्टिंगशन है रेसिडेंटशिप एंड दिटीजनशिप रिमेम्बर वन थिंग normally a citizenship will be given by birth and citizen is not an economic concept it is again a political concept citizenship kisi ka hona wo economic concept nahi hai wo political concept hai so i don't want a noise i am getting some noise from the hello okay Fine. Drew, it was there. Okay, I don't want to noise that. Okay, so uh, let's say uh, how the resident can be done, right? So if we have a process of visa, you know, that any country if you want to reside in, you want to be a PR, personal resident. Many students are planning for going to Canada after, let's say, twelfth or something like that. So how are you going to get that? so so let's say you have to take a visa of the country और visa से आपको वहां के green card मिलता है या कोई card मिलता है PR के card मिलते हैं and that is how you get a citizenship right so ये green card मिलना यानी काफी time अमेरिका में लोग रहते तो है बारह बारह साल तक रहते हैं पर अभी तक उनको green card नहीं मिलता है तो green card मिलने का मतलब ही होता है citizenship अभी जब तक green card नहीं मिलता तब तक उनको उसे visa मिलता है और वो visa मिलना यानी वो residentialship है यानी आप रह सकते हो पर आप उस देश के नागरिक नहीं हो उस देश के सिटीजन नहीं हो राइट बट इकोनॉमिक अंडरस्टूड अबाउट सिटीजनशिप ऑफ एनी कंट्री इट ऑलवेज टॉक्स अबाउट रेसिडेंटशिप ऑफ कंट्री क्यों हम उसके व्याख्या को समझेंगे तो समझ में आएगा राइट right? ओके लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस सिटीजनशिप इज बेसिकली लीगल कंसेप्ट सो वट इट मीन इट बीज बेस्ड इट इज बेस्ड ऑन place of birth jahan pe aapka janm hua hai where you were born or a person or some legal provisions allowing a person to become a citizen as i mentioned in here that a legal provision if you want to be a citizen of america the legal provision that means you have to take a visa first then you have to go for a green card and then you get a citizenship right and this is very important this three procedures you have to follow very importantly so then only then only you get a citizenship yani aap to aap janam se ban sakte ho या तो आपको वहां पे बारह साल रहना पड़ेगा इवन इन इंडिया द सेम थिंग अप्लाइज राइट रिसेंटली दैट एनआरसी एंड एनपीआर बी हैव चेंज दैट बट इंडिया में भी ये लॉ था अभी तक कि आप 10 या ग्यारह साल तक एक देश में रहोगे उसके बाद ही आपको उसकी सिटीजनशिप मिलती है तो फॉर एग्जांपल कोई थाईलैंड से यहाँ पे आके रहना चाहता है तो उनको इलेवन ईयर्स यहाँ पे रहना पड़ेगा राइट रहना पड़ेगा मीन्स वो पहले रेसिडेंट पहले बन जाते हैं सिटीजन नहीं बनते So, हम तो रेसिडेंटशिप की ही बात करेंगे यहाँ यहाँ पे सिटीजनशिप की बात नहीं करेंगे पर ये समझना जरूरी है कि सिटीजनशिप कौन बनता है सिटीजन कौन बनते हैं तो आफ्टर प्रिस्क्राइब इयर्स ऑफ रूल्स ऑफ अ लैंड एनी पर्टिकुलर लैंड मे बी इंडिया थाईलैंड अमेरिका यूएस आई मीन यूके और रशिया और एनी दिस इज द रूल डेट यू टू फॉलो देन ओनली यू बिकम सिटीजनशिप अदरवाइज रेसिडेंट तो कोई भी बन सकता है अगर आप थोड़ी सी फॉर्मेलिटी खत्म कर दो तो the next if you understand resident it is basically an economic concept right so aapko visa milne ke baad jo green card milta hai usme aapko pr milta hai yahan pe dikh rahe ho permanent resident likha hua hai right so this concept is based on the basic economic activities performed by a person so agar wo economic activity wahan pe perform kar raha hai agar unko wahan pe job mil raha hai wahan pe uh, wo uh, apni family leke ja raha hai ya fir wo apna ghar chala raha hai या वहां पे स्पेंडिंग कर रहा है अर्निंग कर रहा है या डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कर रहा है ऐसा कुछ भी एक्टिविटी इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी कर रहा है 
और वो वहां पे रह रहा है पर्टिकुलर नेशन में तो वो उस नेशन का रेसिडेंट बोला जाएगा बराबर है बस सिटीजन होने के लिए बहुत टाइम लगता है या तो वहां पे आपको उन यू हैव टू बोर्न ओवर देयर आपको जन्म लेना पड़ेगा अदरवाइज व्हाट यू हैव टू डू इज व्हाट यू हैव टू डू इज यू हैव टू पास सम लीगल फॉर्मेलिटीज राइट योर वीजा योर ग्रीन कार्ड द होल प्रोसीजर यू हैव टू गो थ्रू इट सो द फर्स्ट यू बिकम अ रेसिडेंट एंड देन ओनली यू बिकम अ सिटीजन यस एनीवन हैज अ डाउट यू कैन रेज अ हैंड नाउ okay anyone has a doubt in that fine uh, let me go further then so a resident is who let's understand the definition resident whether a person or institution now this term is very broad in nature we are not talking about only a person we also covered institution at large right so is whether a person or institution is one whose center of economic interest lies in the economic territory of the country which he lives now see the economically the definition is very clear ki jinki center of economic activity wo ek economic territory mein honi chahiye so that economic territory mein agar wo center of economic activity perform karta hai then it will call a resident of the country for example i am right now in india i am living in uh, india and let's say i go for america for some purpose let's say uh, for a tour purpose main jata hu ek aad mahine ke liye tour pe jata hu and ek aad mahine ke baad wapas aa jata hu i'm just getting back to india so am i called the resident of a country can anyone tell me am i called the resident of the country yes yes anyone i want to answer if i'm going to abroad america Right for a period of one month, and I'm coming back. So sh shall I be called the resident of the country? I mean, America, resident of America. Yes, Devanshu. No, sir. Why not? Sir, because uh, uh, if you are going to visit there, so you are not performing any economic activity there. Hmm. I may be performing. Why? Why not? मैं तो जा रहा हूँ और मैं तो वहां पे खाना भी खाऊंगा इवन आई लाइक पिज्जा पास्ता ओवर देयर सो व्हाई शुड एंड आई हम बट यू आर नॉट गोइंग फॉर एनी लाइक हम यस इट्स टेल बी बेटर इट्स ओके गोइंग फॉर गोइंग फॉर टूर पर्पस लेजर पर्पस ओके योर पार्ट राइट ओके फाइन आयुष गुलवानी वांट्स टू आंसर समथिंग यस आयुष sir might be yes because you are going there and performing economic activity you are going to restaurants paying the bills by right. yes right uh actually gulwani uh, it's no uh, yes harshal as you want to say something sir the time period plays a very vital role in here in sir uh, you have visa for only one month So well, you might be calling. So how how many months, one. Harshil? You want to say how many months I have to stay there in order to uh, what I can be say a resident? About years also. A year, okay, fine. Uh, let me tell you. Let me describe you now. The time period in here doesn't play any vital role. Let me tell you very clearly in that matter. Uh, let me uh, clarify the entire thing in here. What the a word says the center of economic activity lies in the economic territory now the center of economic activity contains two three things your earning your spending and your distribution tino teen cheez ek hi desh mein agar hoti hai aapki right to hi aap wahan ke aise nahi bole jayenge see if i'm going for a tour and uh, let's say us mai kya wahan pe spend to kar raha hu let's say economic activity to kar hi raha hu mai mai na nahi bol raha hu but am i earning from there No, I am not earning there. I am distributing anything over there. No, I am not distributing over there anything. So, my only activity is going on there. That means I am just spending over there. So, the entire set of economic activities are not in the economic territory. So, am I right? So, this is the reason I am will not be called the resident of that country. It is just for tour purpose. Now, Harshil said about time period. It may happen that I live for let's say. मेरा एक सन है मेरा छोटा सा बच्चा है राइट वो अभी बड़ा हो गया है एंड नाउ ही इज गोइंग टू अमेरिका एंड उसके पीछे पीछे मैं जा रहा हूँ 
राइट right? क्योंकि उसको उसको वीजा मिल गए तो डेफिनेटली आई कैन लिव विथ हिम तो मैं जा रहा हूं सो इट डजेंट मींस दैट आई एम परफॉर्मिंग ऑल द इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी ओवर देयर मैं जा तो रहा हूं मैं एक साल तक रह रहा हूं वहां पे बट इट डजेंट मींस कि मेरे इकोनॉमिक सेंटर ऑफ इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी वहीं पे लाई करती है नाउ दिस इज अगेन इंपॉर्टेंट ओके मुझे पेंशन मिलता है यहां की सरकार से देन हाउ कैन आई से दैट माय सेंटर ऑफ इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी लाइज ओवर देयर नाउ दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड none of the time period mentions and none of the things mentioned the definition very clearly states that what simple bhasha mein bahut acche se samjhaya hai ki economic interest the center of economic interest aapka interest yani aapki teen jo activity hai spending earning and distribution should be lie in that particular economic territory only in which you reside agar aisa hai then only you call the resident of that particular country otherwise not i hope you understand this if you have a doubt you can raise the hand Yes. Okay. So let me go further. Now, what does this means? We understand a little bit better way. The center of economic interest implies two things. यहाँ पे दो चीज के मायने रखता है. Economic interest का मतलब क्या? कि एक तो resident वहाँ पे रहना चाहिए. The resident lives or is located within the economic territory. एक तो पहले रहना चाहिए. रहना उतना ही जरूरी है. And second, the resident carries out the basic economic activities. of earning spending and accumulation of wealth from the location agar wo teenon teen economic activity wahi pe karna chahiye jahan pe wo reh raha hai to do cheez maine rakhti hai yahan pe ek to rehna to live and your earning your spending and everything should be in that particular country itself then and then only you called a resident of that country otherwise not yes doubts anyone please feel free to ask otherwise i'll go with the next topic fine uh, let me move that dhruvid goti why dhruvid dhruvid why you living and you're not coming back i'll not allow this Remember, this is concept is concerned with by whom, yani economic territory कहाँ पे स्थित है वो वो जाता है by where, where this concept is concerned with by whom किसी किससे हो रहा है ये, right? ये दोनों चीज जानना बहुत जरूरी है. Economic territory की मैंने बात की तो मुझे कुछ याद आया कि कल मैं कुछ miss out कर गया था, right? Let me go back there. हाँ इकोनॉमिक टाइटल के इम्प्लीकेशंस ओके मुझे इम्प्लीकेशन बताने रह गए थे इकोनॉमिक टाइटल के तो मैं बता देता हूँ द इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी के कुछ इम्प्लीकेशन है अगर आप इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी कर रहे हो तो उसे कुछ इम्प्लीकेशन है और ये इम्प्लीकेशन को समझने पड़ेंगे हम सबको समझने पड़ेंगे अच्छे से First, national income and related aggregates are basically the measure of production activity, right? So, जो भी national income raise हो रही है देश में, वो उसी economic territory में अगर हो रहा है तो ही वो raise हो रही है. Remember one thing. Number two, there are two categories of national income aggregates. याद रखिए, एक domestic जो border के within हो रहा है और दूसरा जिसको हम national बोलते हैं, जो border में तो नहीं हो रहा है, border के बाहर हो रहा है, पर वो देश का ही पार्ट है फॉर एग्जांपल जैसे कि बैंक ऑफ बड़ोदा राइट अभी आपको रेसिडेंट का कंसेप्ट भी समझ में आ गया है तो इकोनॉमिक टाइटल के इम्प्लीकेशन बहुत अच्छे से समझ में आ जाएंगे आपको जैसे बैंक ऑफ बड़ोदा रेसिडेंट है अपने देश में राइट right? एंड अगर वो कुछ यहाँ पे अर्न कर रहा है इंडिया में रह के तो इट विल बी कॉल डोमेस्टिक प्रोडक्ट उसका जो भी उत्पादन है प्रोडक्शन है वो डोमेस्टिक उत्पादन बोला जाएगा डोमेस्टिक प्रोडक्ट बोला जाएगा बट अगर वो बैंक ऑफ बड़ोदा की एक ब्रांच समझ लो कि यूके में है और वो वहां पे कुछ प्रोडक्शन कर रहा है सो इट विल बी कॉल्ड अ नेशनल प्रोडक्ट डोमेस्टिक इज ऑलवेज लाइज विद इन द डोमेस्टिक टेरिटरी वेर इज नेशनल इंक्लूड्स डोमेस्टिक प्लस आउटसाइड आल्सो, राइट एंड दैट व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड आफ्टरवर्ड्स द कंसेप्ट ऑफ एन एफ नेट फैक्टर इनकम फ्रॉम अब्रॉड विल अंडरस्टैंड दैट इन डिटेल आफ्टरवर्ड्स बट आई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इन वेरी सिंपल ऑफ द लैंग्वेज आई एम टेलिंग यू राइट नाउ Production activity of all production units located within the economic territory is a domestic product. 
राइट right? जैसे मैंने बताया कि अगर इकोनॉमिक टेरिटरी के अंदर ही जितनी भी इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी होती है राइट right? जो भी प्रोडक्शन एक्टिविटी होती है उसको हम डोमेस्टिक प्रोडक्ट बोलेंगे एग्जाम्पल है जीडीपी हम जिससे बोलते हैं ग्रॉस डोमेस्टिक प्रोडक्ट है नेट डोमेस्टिक प्रोडक्ट जिसमें डेप्रिशन माइनस करके हम करते क्योंकि ग्रॉस का मतलब होता है जबकि नेट का मतलब होता है डेप्रिशिएशन राइट रिमेम्बर इट इज कंसर्न विद वेर इकोनॉमिक टेरिटरी ऑलवेज कंसर्न के कहाँ पे इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी हो रही है राइट सो दिस वॉज द थिंग दैट आई जस्ट फॉर गेट टू मेक यू रिमेम्बर राइट सो रिमेम्बर दिस नाउ दिस इम्प्लीकेशन आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड द इकोनॉमिक टेरिटरी एंटायरली ओके फाइन लेट्स मूव फर्दर today is for today is the last concept is uh, all about the factor income versus transfer income yes harshil has raised the hand yes harshil you want to say something you want to ask sir if someone is going for only study purpose to another country so it will be called resident of that country uh, depends uh, if uh, the economic activity lies or not suppose if he is earning stipend over there and definitely spending over there so and he is definitely uh the purpose of him to be live there only so remember one thing if he is going to transfer all the money in here in india for the parents right so he is not spending over there so definitely i'll not say that he is a resident of that country but if he is spending over there if he is earning over there definitely i'll say that he is a resident of that country yes sir sir i hope you clear i am clearing it out yes sir okay thank you so let's understand uh, one more important concept all this concept at the end we are going to mingle everything right so remember all this concept very carefully ye sab ko hum isolation mein nahi dekhne wale we are not going to look in isolation we are going to merge at the end of the day but remember all these concepts are very very important so now we are going to understand what is the factor income and what's the transfer income so let's understand this now factor income are basically the income generated by the factors of production and you know this four factors of production right we all know that that is uh, land labor capital and enterprise right and we know that uh, land gives rent labor gives wages uh, capital will be provided the interest and enterprise or the entrepreneur will be getting profits respectively now this is important to understand right all the way this this income is generated by the factor income and remember any economic activity will be taking place with the help of factor income only or you otherwise i say the factors of production only do the production activity as per the economical rule so definitely all the income generated by all the factors of production in all over the country will be called the aggregate of the factor income right तो जितने भी जमीनें हैं इंडिया में फॉर एग्जांपल यू अंडरस्टैंड जितने भी लेबर्स हैं जो काम कर रहे हैं जितने भी कैपिटल है जो पैसे मशीनरी या कुछ भी और जितने भी एंटरप्राइजेस है या फिर जितने भी एंटरप्रेन्योर्स है और एंटरप्रेन्योर्स जो काम कर रहे हैं और उनको जो रेंट वेजेस इंटरेस्ट और प्रॉफिट मिल रहा है दिस आर ऑल द फैक्टर इनकम वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दोस फैक्टर इनकम एंड दिस फैक्टर इनकम इन समेशन विल क्रिएट द नेशनल इनकम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट the second concept with the factor income we are going to understand is of what is transfer income so there are some incomes we are not getting by our productive activity hamari mehnat se nahi aati in other words right they are just getting us free of cost this are called what we call transfer income your grief donations right funding grants by some third uh, party or the other nations they are just giving us aids in case of let's say corona virus let's say we are getting some aid from america or from some other big countries these are all transfer income because ye humne apni mehnat se income generate nahi ki hai ye humko muft mein mili hai so in mara so transfer income is something that that income is raised without any productive activity in other words so aapne koi mehnat mazdoori nahi ki hai you are just got it as a gift or as a grant this is what we call as a transfer income remember one thing transfer income are not used for calculation of national income at all kyunki wo hamari mehnat ka income nahi hai we only considered only factor income in calculation of national income this is very important concept so we are going to understand differences between this two what's the factor income what's the transfer income very clearly right let's understand that the points of difference the first is definition right so the basis 
So the factor income refers to income received for rendering factor services of land, labor, capital, and enterprise. This factor services is the word factor services is very, very important, right? In the production process. So entire production process, we will do this in the future. Like land, labor, capital, and enterprise, karenge, right? So it will be called factor income. Whereas transfer income refers to income received without rendering any productive service in return. We don't have productive service, we are just getting it. We are just getting it. Gift. Concept, if you look at a concept, the fact income concept is two side concept. Lane then dono baju hota hai. For example, aap mazduri ke kuch banate ho, ya for example, if you are selling something, you know, getting something in back, in return. That is two side, always a two sided concept. Whereas transfer income is always a one sided concept. Kisi ne aapko daan dakshina mein diya, so you get some aid, a fund or grant. This is what we call as a transfer income. Remember, fact income is only included in the national income whereas transfer income will not be included in the national income so let me give the examples of the factor income rent wages interest and profit these are the four main examples because four factor services are done by that but that n number of transfer income that you can see let's say old age pension old age pension is called a factor income or transfer income aapko lagega ka sir pension to unhone mehnat ki hai isliye to aapko pension mil raha hai but no old age pension uske liye nahi milta hai ओल्ड एज पेंशन किसके लिए मिलता है कि आप क्योंकि बूढ़े हो गए हो और ये देश की जवाबदारी इट्स एन रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द कंट्री टू कैरी आउट योर ओल्ड एज फैक्टर एंड दैट इज द रीजन यू गेट अ पेंशन सम पेंशन फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट जस्ट टू मेक यू सर्वाइव राइट तो ये फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट है और इसमें आपने कोई मेहनत नहीं की है स्कॉलरशिप अगेन ट्रांसफर मुफ्त में मिल रहा है फ्री में गिफ्ट बांटी जा रही है Unemployment allowance because you are unemployed in some countries like America and uh, Britain or, or Germany. Unemployment allowance they are giving. So why they are giving unemployment allowance? Because you are unemployed, you cannot find a job properly. That is the reason the government is giving an allowance to you, and that is again a free of cost. आपको खाना देते, आपको रहने के लिए घर देते, this is free of cost. Similarly, your pocket money you are receiving from your parents. <laughs> this is also transfer income. Basically, you are not working hard and fast to earn money. So your income will be called as a transfer income only, right? I hope you understand this. Uh, although there are four differences, there are one. There is one similarity between this factor income and transfer income. Remember, this both the income can be received within the country also and outside the country. What it says, it can be received either within the domestic territory of a country or from abroad. So you can get it from anywhere. Now, and that this is important to understand that it is not necessary that always the transfer income is from outside. It can be from inside. Uh, this is I, it for today. Uh, you have any doubts or anything, then you can ask me now. Yes, um, I covered with my topics for today as far. Yes, anyone has a doubt, please ask me. Yes, two participants have raised their hand. Yes, Meer. So can we say that a transfer income income was earlier a factor income? Transfer income, well, you cannot say like that. Every income is always a first effect income only. <laughs> transfer income, okay. uh, definitely, because anyhow that you have to earn hard for your uh, money. Uh, so definitely everything is affecting income before the transfer income happens. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ayush. Sir, what if you go to US and sell the goods mm. uh, and earn there and spend there so you would be resident of that country? If I am, yes. If I am earning there and if I am spending the entire money over there, I will be called the resident of that country. The, the two things are there. The one I do leave over there and then that spending, earning, and accumulation or distribution of the wealth should be happen over there. Is that what you want The two things are satisfied, so yeah, definitely, I'm resident, otherwise not. If I'm living in here and doing the activities over there, then it will be called export import part of thing. I will not say is the exit, there's a residential concept. Yes. Or, 
Yes, anyone want to ask? Any doubts? Yes, Netra. Sir, how factor income is two sided concept? Can you explain it again, please? Uh, factor income is always a two sided because, see, uh, land, labor, capital, these are factor production. So, if you're not going to work hard on that, definitely you're not going to get returns. So, until and unless you're not working, you're not going to get returns. So, definitely it's a two sided concept. It's not, never a one sided concept. Right? One sided income means you have to take one or two sided is means lend and do baju hota hai. So give and take. Right? For example, if you're making some uh, chairs and tables, if you're making some corn, if you're making some goods by yourself, definitely you're going to sell for something, at least nothing than money. Right? And if not money, then also some goods. So if it's so always a two sided concept. Lena bhi hai, dena bhi hai. I hope you understand, Netra. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Himansu says, Himansu asks, sir, taxes given to the government is a factor income? Uh, no. Uh, this depends on what kind of the taxes you are giving to the government. Right? So, the taxes are a part of profit uh, that we are going to understand in detail. Right? And as a profit is a factor income, taxes are also a factor income. Right? So, in that context, I say, yes, uh, taxes are factor income. If you just say taxes. But if you taxes that you have given to someone who is COVID-19 and many companies are extra taxes, right? Uh, advanced tax is So uh, just not because they have a liability of paying a taxes, just because they are helping it out. In such cases, taxes are transfer income. But normally, if you taxes, bolo, normal taxes, bolo, yes, definitely taxes are factor income. Because remember, the profit is the third part. Hai, uh, uh, what I can say, take minute, huh? uh, jo third part, hai, uh, my mistake. Uh, for, okay, take it. Huh? Hadik, uh, jo profit jo hota hai, uske uh, uh, three parts hai. Usme first part kya hota hai? Normally, it is a payout as a dividend, right? Second part, dividend payout, but we earning and retain. And the third part is the tax. The tax is the government. Ko hai. So every profit is a three parts, remember. So when we talk about entrepreneurs ke profits, ki baat karte hai, to ek to profit is the distribution of the third part. Number one. Right? Dividend is the third part. Dusra, there is a lot of money profit ka, jo hisa hum rakte apne apne. We are not distributing it there. A third job part of that, we give taxes in the form of government. Ko dete These three parts entirely is a summation of the entire profits. So profit is a part of profit. Taxes is a part of profit. And definitely, if it's a part of profit, it's a factor income. I hope, Imanchu, you cleared your doubt. Yes, anyone else than this? Okay, I hope that... Uh, I've covered the topic in entirety. Okay, go through it. Go through my lectures again and again. Right? Uh, write down the notes. Yes, definitely. Uh, I forgot to give the homework as such. You have to make all these notes of it because at the time when you want to learn everything at uh, one place, uh, definitely uh, your YouTube is always there. You can relook uh, and review of my lecture all the time. But uh, make uh, notes everywhere. Dhruvit is asking, sir, you will be a resident if you are living in Europe and somehow earning from America. Uh, if I'm living in Europe and if I'm earning from America, right, I'll be called a resident of Europe only, right? And uh, how can I earn from America if I'm living in Europe? Maybe I have made some software and I've distributed that software or I have some service facility or I may be doing export or import thing. So Dhruvit, if I'm living in Europe and I'm America, earning from America, it will be called import or export services from America. And I'm earning by the way of export only. So living in one country will be called the resident of that country itself. First of all, living is very important. So if I'm in Europe, then definitely I'll be called resident of Europe. And Europe is a continent. I can't Europe in the country. You can say uh, UK, right? United Kingdom. Or England or something like that. Europe ni bolte. Europe is a continent. Ha, definitely. Uh, if I'm somehow earning from America, I'll be called 
the resident of Europe only, not America. So definitely you have to write uh, everything in a book, right? So definitely everything will be on one place and you can refer to whenever you get. Even while writing, you can learn also. Definitely I've told you as soon as the unit gets over, I'm going to take an assessment. So definitely go on there, stay home, stay safe, right? Bye, good day, take care. I'm just ending the meeting now, right? Bye.